German Pinscher. The German Pinscher is an old German breed with depictions in dog books as early as the 1700s. It is considered to be a descendant of a variety of medium-sized dogs used mainly to catch rodents on farms since the 15th century. These in turn evolved from early herding and guarding breeds. In the early years, the modern German Pinscher and the standard Schnauzer were developed from the same lines and were both called Pinschers. Gradually, the two varieties were separated and refined into proper breeds. The first breed standard for the German Pinscher was developed in 1884, but the breed itself did not become very popular. Interestingly, in the decade following World War II, the German Pinscher had reached the point of near extinction. A West German breeder called Werner Jung is credited with re-establishing the breed using large specimens from miniature pinchers. Though one-off dogs had been imported into the USA for several years for rich connoisseurs looking for rare breeds, proper presence in the country was seen from the late 1970s. Time for some rough trivia. The German pincher has been used in the past to develop several other dogs. Which of these is not a breed that has significant German pincher contribution in its development history? A. Doberman B. German Shepherd or C. Rottweiler What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. An adult German Pinscher has a height of 17 to 20 inches and weight 25 to 35 pounds. It is a medium-sized dog, slightly smaller than a Doberman. It has a short coat with accepted colors being black, rust, and solid red. The words typically used to describe the dog's overall appearance are elegant, muscular, and built for endurance and agility. Its tails and ears are generally docked and cropped, though it is illegal in some countries. This was done historically to prevent injuries to the dog, but is largely considered cosmetic today. If cropped, the ears are erect. If uncropped, they are V-shaped with a folding pleat. The expression is sharp, alert, and responsive. Grooming. A German pincher is very easy to take care of. Occasional brushing using a hound glove can be sufficient. Baths once a month, followed by a quick dry, will keep its coat clean, though the dog is known to hate water. Its nails tend to grow very quick and require regular trimming. Ears have to be checked for debris buildup and teeth have to be cleaned regularly, especially keep in mind their propensity to hunt all kinds of small animals. Environment. A German pincher's temperament depends on its parents more than in the case of most other dog breeds, but it is generally found to be playful and friendly. It can be good with children, but should be monitored in the presence of very young ones. It is generally wary of strangers, barks only when necessary, and makes for a great watchdog. It can be aggressive with other pets, especially small ones like rabbits and guinea pigs. It is suggested as a house pet as it likes to take part in family activities. Training German pinchers are known for intelligence, obedience, agility, and stamina. Trained dogs can hunt for the entire day without getting tired. The dogs are easy to train but tend to be stubborn, especially when being kept from their innate function of running after rodents. They are high-energy dogs and require mental and physical stimulation from the owner to keep from becoming depressed. Health The typical life expectancy of the breed is 12 to 15 years. The breed is a very healthy one, though some ailments seen are hip and elbow dysplasia, thyroid disorder, and cardiac problems. Von Willebrand disease, a hereditary blood-related problem, is seen in a few dog breeds, including the German Pinscher. Smart and strong, a German Pinscher makes for a great companion, whether engaged in a full day of outdoor activity or a lazy weekend. Low maintenance, healthy, and easy to train, there is a very good reason the breed is seeing increasing popularity everywhere. Find out if the German Pinscher would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. While many breeds like the Miniature Pinscher, the Affen Pinscher, the Standard Schnauzer, and the Doberman and the Rottweiler have included the German Pinscher in their development, the German Shepherd is not one of them. That does it for the German Pinscher. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that 